Will Pomeranz is deputy director of the Wilson Center's Kennan Institute. Will also leads an initiative on rule of law and just conducted a conference of the title Protecting Civil Liberties and the Rule of Law in the Age of Terrorism. Will, welcome to Now. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. So tell us about the conference. Well, we had really just a fascinating conference today. Uh, it was divided in two parts, one that focused on the U.S. response and U.S. legislative response, and the second panel that took a kind of broader global uh, look at, at, at different ways of approaching anti-terrorism. And it was very interesting because some of the speakers, especially those dealing with Russia and Turkey, focused on the domestic response, mm -hmm. that there's always kind of, that the anti-terrorism legislation in many ways is, is, is motivated by responding to domestic issues, domestic concerns. Is it, is it fair to say that this is a delicate time for uh, civil liberties across uh, the globe? I think we learned that it's a delicate time both in the United States and the, around the world. I think what was very important about the U.S. panel was it emphasized uh, the responses in the post-9-11 world, but really how little we know and appreciate what has been done in terms of limiting our rights of privacy and the inability to actually have either a third or a neutral party resolution of, of a dispute, or even, even finding out what the very basics, basics are of a dispute. It's really um, a very interesting world as we try to balance these types of issues of civil liberties and anti-terrorism. And I think what the speakers highlighted in many ways was the balance is a bit out of whack. Now, are, are, can we learn anything looking around the globe at countries that are doing a better job with that balancing act? Well, I, I don't really think we found an alternative example. And that was one of the uh, interesting aspects, one would say almost discouraging aspects of the conference. Really, the U.S. approach is very much on a legislative response. Uh, other countries are using the threat of terrorism to really crack down on minorities, on religious dissenters. This has now become a quite common tool or decision to use the question of anti-terrorism to go after your political opponents. And I think that was, again, highlighted in our discussion today. Uh, initially, we looked at this as sort of a 9-11 hangover. But now with the events in Syria and the migration issues that that, that has caused, and there, there are other things piling on to create this sense of insecurity. It, are we in this for a long haul? The uh, question of how we fight and deal with anti-terrorism is already the, one of the major questions of the 21st century, I think. And it is one of the global challenges that has no common response. And I think the concern that was raised is really the, the diversity of the responses and really how can you actually have a coordinated response, even if it is making a request of a, to a foreign government to ask for information. Uh, all these things are involve foreign legal systems, foreign jurisdictions, and it was emphasized just how difficult that will be in the 21st century. So I think, yes, it is, it is one of the defining issues of the 21st century. And I don't think we walked away with an understanding of what the right answer is, other than the fact that people are, the different nations are trying different approaches, uh, some, and, 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 that the, and, and that the pendulum has swung uh, in many ways against the notion of defending both civil liberties. Was there any sense about technology making it a little too easy to overreact on the security side Absolutely. of the equation? Absolutely. We had a very uh, good speaker, uh, Robin Green, who emphasized uh, the ability of U.S. intelligence and services really to make broad requests for information um, that companies are actually not only agreeing to, but sometimes are even introducing the technology in order to implement these types of orders. And again, this, is, this was a very interesting and in many ways troubling uh, analysis because, you know, there, the, the private companies aren't in the business of gathering intelligence. But the way these orders are framed and the options that face these companies, uh, they're increasingly feeling obliged to enter that space. And it was a very sobering message. Well, I, I, I can't think of anything other than to say that we got to just keep an eye on it because it is a difficult balance to achieve and maintain. Thanks for staying on the case. And mm -hmm. I should tell our viewers that uh, there will be more material here right on this very same webpage where you can find whole sessions from the conference Will just spoke about and individual breakout interviews with some of the other participants. Will, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure.